Hi everybody and welcome to Vlogmas. It's Monday. It's the 20, no, I don't know what day it is. David. It's the 14th. It's Vlogmas day 14. I just got home from work and I'm pretty, pretty pooped. Uh, but I have a very rare house all to myself and squirrel. Uh, Lucy is still at her grandparents' house and Colin, who works from home now, uh, is at the campus where he works, where he just had to like go do something. So I don't know, I have the house to myself. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I haven't been home alone in six months. <laughs> Um, I was thinking I would make something. Uh, I went to the grocery store after work to do, okay, I can't do this, hold on. Okay, we had to change our setup because I was just holding my camera out like this. And I don't know how other people do it. My arm got really tired. It gets really tired really fast after doing that for a very short period of time. I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm very weak. So we're in a new spot, and now the cat is messing with you. Hey, squirrel, come here. Squirrel, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What was I saying? I'm really tired. So uh, I found another minimalist baker recipe that I want to make, and uh, it is the homemade peppermint patties. And I went to the grocery store, the co-op, after work today to get all the stuff for this week. I think I said yesterday I'm having, I'm making uh, tomato soup and latkes tonight for dinner. And I also got stuff for these peppermint patties. And they sound really good. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. All it is is um, dried, unsweetened, like shredded coconut, uh, pulsed in a food processor with a little bit of maple syrup and I don't remember what else. There might be like, oh, like coconut oil maybe? I can't remember. Hey squirrel, can you, can you, can you not, can you come down here? Can you come down here? This is a disaster. Squirrel, come here. Squirrel, get. get, 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 get. You're kind of in her spot, so. Anyway, okay. What was I saying? So you blend some stuff up in a food processor and it's just like three or four ingredients and there's like no processed sugar in it. It's just sweetened with maple syrup. And then you form this like, I don't know, paste or whatever it makes into patties and put them in the freezer. And then after they come out of the freezer, you dip them in chocolate that you've melted and mixed in a little bit of coconut oil. And then you put them back in the freezer or the fridge or something like that. And that's it. That's the whole thing. And they sound really, really good. Oh yeah, peppermint extract. I hope I have peppermint extract. I think I do. If not, they'll just be coconut patties. Anyway, I think I might do that right now while the house is empty, even though I feel like what I really ought to want to do is sit and knit and do nothing while the house is empty. But I think I kind of want to bake instead, so I'm going to do that. How's your December going? Are you baking a whole bunch right now? I don't know why I'm baking a whole bunch. It's not like holiday baking. I just, I guess you just, I kind of get in the mood in the wintertime, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I'm baking so much right now, but oh, also I'm pregnant, so I don't. <laughs> that's not supposed to be an announcement. Um, you may, if you missed my last full podcast, uh, I, I I mentioned it. I, I am pregnant, so it could be that. I could just be really wanting baked goods right now. I do kind of have a sweet tooth right now that I don't typically have. I'm not much for sweets really. Uh, but I kind of am right now, so it's probably because of that. You know what I think about it? And winter time and Christmas, and it's all probably making me want to bake. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, so what are you doing? I hope your December is going really good. Um, if you're getting ready for the holidays, I hope things are 
coming together for you and you know it's gonna be a weird holiday for a lot of people I'm sure do you like my lampshade hat but um you know we've learned how to make the best of it at this point right okay uh, I'm gonna go bake now and I'll leave you with this little beast. We're in luck. I have it, but it's ancient. So we'll see how it goes. Like really ancient. It'll be fine. Ooh. Okay, I also have almond extract so I could just use almond extract instead and they won't be peppermint patties they'll be macaroon like patties um maybe I'll do like half and half I also have vanilla extract what if I just did that also I found this other ancient spice in my little spice thingy right there and it's pretty cool because recently it's saffron so I purchased this little vial of saffron <laughs> from my co-op probably 10 years ago to do something random and then uh, probably never used it again. But I have it and I didn't think I still had this, but recently my friend texted me a recipe that she had made that day that she thought I might like called Lucicotter, which are called in English Lucia cat buns and they're a yeasted like sweetbread and it calls for saffron. And I was like, I kind of want to make that, but I probably have to buy more saffron that I'll just have sitting around for another 10 years if I do make it. But check it, I have the saffron from 10 years ago. Uh, apparently, I like making things with ancient stuff. It's fine. If they're horrible, I'll throw them out. That one is fine. It doesn't call for salt, but I'm adding salt because I don't believe in baking without salt, so I'm doing it. Okay, so I tasted it, and I decided to add some almond meal which is just ground up almonds and a teeny bit more maple syrup. And now it's really, really good. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> it's really good. So now I have like this kind of mess. So this gets formed into little patties, frozen, and then I'll cover it in chocolate. I think this is gonna be pretty good. And the peppermint extract tastes fine, so that's good. Okay, well that's probably it for today because I think those peppermint patties might be the most exciting thing to happen to me today. Uh, and they won't be done until tomorrow. So that's when I'll put the chocolate on them. And I hope your Monday was good 
and I'll see you Tuesday or Wednesday maybe? I don't know, something. We'll see you next time I record something. That is when I will see you. Hey Lucy, are you on your fort? No. On the couch. You're on the couch? On the couch. Okay, so the peppermint patties are done. They were super easy, and let's see how they taste. They're pretty freaking good. So that's what they look like inside. And um, yeah, I don't know if you're into this kind of thing, I recommend it. They're really, really good. They were really, really easy. It's just like coconut maple syrup. I added almond flour to mine and coconut oil and chocolate. I added salt too. I always add salt to things. I can't stand it when recipes omit salt from stuff. So I'm going to eat my peppermint patty. It's really good. Do you want to try it, Lucy? Come on up, you can try it. You got it. I made it. Try a teeny bite. Here, you try a teeny bite. What do you think? You want to try another bite?
Do you like it? Go on. All right. Me too. And it's only really mildly pepperminty. It gave you like a range of peppermint um, extract to use, and I used the lowest that it recommended. Yeah, it's really good. So the other day, I went through Lucy's old clothes that don't fit her anymore. Uh, pretty much this whole time she's been around, as she's grown out of clothes, I've taken them to one of my local kids' consignment clothing stores and tried to um, get rid of them for trade. And I've gotten rid of them a lot, and that's pretty much how I've gotten all our new clothes is by trade at this consignment store. But all the rejects I've taken home with me, and they've just kind of been piling up in the garage. Interruptions. So they have been piling up in the garage ever since. And so now that I'm having another baby, the other day, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I finally did it. I went through all of those old clothes and picked out what I want to keep for the new kid and what I want to get rid of. The consignment store that I used to go to has closed down or moved. I'm not sure, actually. Um, so there's Claudio, another one in town. And... Yeah. We're going to go to the clothing store today. So I've gotten all the stuff that I want to try to get rid of, put it in a bag. I'm going to take it over there later today. And... <gasps> Uh, what's nice about this place is whatever they don't accept, they just donate, and you don't have to wait around for them to decide. You just drop it off, and they keep what they're going to keep, give you credit, and then donate the rest. So that's kind of nice, because they kind of just want to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So, that's the plan. I'm making um, French bread right now for the pasta bolognese for dinner, so later I'll be making pasta to, and the bolognese. And yeah, that's kind of it for today. I cleaned the house this morning, so cleaning and cooking and going to kids' clothing stores today. Um, so domestic. Say hi. 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 You do a man maker. Yeah, this chip maker. You do a man maker.